Sit here. We have another round of extractions we're doing today. It's a new patient. She hasn't been here before. Lots of blackheads and whiteheads, very oily skin, mid teens, very common patient presentation we see. So we're going to get her close to clear. She doesn't have a thousand or 1500. She's got a couple hundred, so one or two, maybe three sessions, and she should be where we want her to be. And then the retinoids take effect and stop new ones from forming. So come on in, let's check it out. Okay, so we can see here very common the whiteheads. Um, this is teenage skin, that oil kind of mixes with dead skin cells and we get keratin here. So we're going to open up these pores and then just a little pressure with Q-tips and some with extractor and we'll pop these out. Now let's pull that skin, a little pressure. You'll see each one of these pores start to clear. Very good. Might be some hairs in some Heidi. of them. That's good. Spread that, get underneath, and a little squeeze. Just a couple bigger ones up here I'm gonna open up. Then out see that little hair follicle right at the base nice plug there I like that side this is an inflammatory one here these can be a little tender that one popped did you feel that mm, no not really <laughs> right there good just a little popper Perfect. Quite a bit of contents in that one. Good. Yeah, she's already doing pretty well with the retinoid. tender. That one's dried up pretty well. Yeah, she's doing great. Sometimes salicylic acid, <coughs> bless you, <laughs> salicylic acid preparations, retinoids, they'll start drying these pockets up. Good. Sometimes for these dry ones, you got to put a little pressure down. Thank you. Definitely feel that a little more than the Q-tips, I'm sure. Good. Got a nice plug out of that one. This one is taking its time coming out right there. Got it. That's what I was looking for. Little dry plugs right there. Very good. Some of these are so thin. What's coming out is almost like just a hair with a little bit of keratin around it. That's good. long stringy ones here. Those are the ones that commonly will have a hair on them. Very good. Okay. Let's 
looking good even when you pull that and you can see a lot of those bumps went down quite a bit i'm gonna come back to this one here i can see a hair follicle rolled up in there then we're gonna move down to the cheek a little poke there sorry do a little hand squeeze see if we can get there it is good she's got just a couple small ones right there and then we'll go down to the cheek not too bad so far <laughs> good i'm like half asleep half asleep that's awesome <laughs> take a nap and get your face clean that's perfect sometimes you can't see these until you pull a little Those ones aren't super big, just a little, a lot bigger down on the cheek. Get those two and six there these can be a little more sensitive to get the pour she's tough she's not even flinching a lot of these girls are tougher than guys i guess we already knew that huh yeah i don't know it's true <laughs> we really did are generally the ones that are kind of creamy come out a little easier than the ones we were dealing with on the forehead just like that good strings strings that always say they're welcome thing about these kinds is you can see when you get those out the bumps are gone I want to see if there's a little bit left in that one there I'm squeezing too hard just let me know she did great no permanent scars no bruising just open the pore barely so it looks good okay on the other side and Lots of little strings. That's what they look like coming out. Good. Release, pull, and get under there and press up. skin and get under. Is it staying in focus pretty well or no? Yeah. I'm Decent. <laughs> I'm just going to back up it. Still some in there. We go. I just kind of got to roll it out. Come at it from different directions. Yeah. 
good. Couple down there. Perfect. You can see there now we pull the skin. Hardly see any bumps. There's still two little ones there, and then we're done. Do a little finger squeeze on these. See if there's any residual. Very good. And there was a little on that one. Very, very nice. That's a bigger one that's dried up. She may have, yeah, it's dry. We don't need to get that. Same with that one. So these are drying up great with her treatments that she's doing. That one, it's already dried up as well. So she looks good. When we pull that skin, you see a lot of those bumps are reduced now. And that is going to get her clear so much quicker with the retinoid instead of waiting for that to be absorbed over a year or more. We can get her there in just a month. See, all those bumps are gone now. She had a good 20, 25 just in that area. So that's good. We're going to get her cleaned up. Okay, guys, that was her first round. We'll do one more, but she's not going to have much left. So she should do great. And when I was training 10 years ago, one of my first preceptors told me, when you have a patient that has a lot of comedonal acne, blackheads and whiteheads, you can give them all these medications and they're gonna get a lot better. But if you take the time just to do one or two rounds of it, you know, clearing those pores, you're gonna see exponentially how much quicker they get um, better. And they're gonna be a lot happier, a lot quicker too. And hopefully potentially less scarring because we're getting those pores unclogged. So um, thanks for popping by and thank her for sharing. That was a great extraction. And uh, she, we'll have her back and do a little follow up in just next couple weeks. Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here, Greg Langstrom, PA. Hope you enjoyed that video make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button to get the good word out. Um, a lot of great things coming in 2021 on my channel. Exciting new things, some merch. It's going to be a fun time. You want to be a part of it, don't miss out. Thanks for popping by.